One of the best examples of the Satanist understanding of aesthetics can be seen in concerts and video clips by heavy metal groups that have adopted this philosophy. For example, one of the best known Satanist fascist music groups, Cradle of Filth, always bases its themes on filth, repulsion and darkness. The group's video clips are recorded in dank, dark places whose floors are covered with mud and tar and whose walls drip with blood and filth. The group members put repulsive and frightening makeup on their faces and wear clothes redolent of filth and homosexuality. In their concerts, the group insult religion. Members of the audience tear up religious books and the group's soloist, Marilyn Manson, suggests to his fans that they assault their own families, society, and religious institutions. In 1995, when asked in an interview what he thought about evolution, he replied, I tend to believe in social Darwinism, so I believe the evolution of society. I guess I believe, to a certain degree, the Darwin theory. I'm not, however, open to the idea of genesis and creationism. It doesn't work for me. It is obvious that the philosophy that drives people to become Satanists is atheism. And the theory it is rooted in is Darwin's theory of evolution. This outmoded theory that defines human beings as a collection of animals is the greatest cause of the rapid spread of Satanism throughout the world. It is important that we learn from this. Those who wonder how Satanism could spread among high school students should have a look at high school textbooks. They will see that Darwin's theory of evolution, the greatest support for Satanism, is imposed on the children in these books.